At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Honorable Faisal Mustafa, Minister of Local Government, gave an assurance to the House on the 20th of April regarding the local government elections that the necessary instructions will be issued and the commission can come into operation in order to hold the local government elections. I would like to ask the Prime Minister, the joint opposition demands have been conveyed before to know as to why doesn't the government immediately give the necessary mandate to the election commission to hold these local government elections which is long overdue for over two years as for today. The president has said that the local government election must be held soon. Accordingly, the subject ministry has taken action for it. However, the party leaders have come to us several times with the request that they need to come to a united agreement regarding the election system. We have to make a decision after that agreement. The government had already finalized many steps regarding the matter. What must be done here is the implementation of the law. Party leaders can come and say not to hold local government election, then there won't be any democracy left in the country. Before holding this election, there must be around 50 amendments to the election ordinance. We couldn't come to a final decision, so we have to get together again and discuss this, and then I will let the Cabinet of Ministers know about it. Things can't simply be implemented just because there is a directive. There is no election law yet. It will take more time if a few parties try to stagnate the process. So let's do this with a common agreement. Resolutions under the Appropriation Act and note on the supplementary allocations given from the budgetary support services and contingent liabilities provision made under the Department of National Budget as per the introduction note of the annual estimates which were referred to the said committee. And with your permission, want to highlight one matter. The committee, after consideration, agreed to the said uh, resolutions. In respect of the note, the committee requested the Director General of National Budget to provide the details of vehicles purchased to ministers from January 2015 and of present condition of previous vehicles used by the ministers and decided to withhold its approval until the receipt of the requested details. A parliamentarian representing the Mathura district raised the first issue for me as the finance minister. I'm happy that it's about the district itself, but give me two weeks to look into the matter. As a fellow politician from Matara and a citizen of this country, I would take this opportunity to convey my heartfelt congratulations to him. Also, I would like to tell you that when President made the public announcement, he said he initiated his cabinet reshuffle to move forward as a country. So naturally, it highlighted the concern whether Foreign Minister Mangala Samaravira was an obstacle to move forward as a country. <laughs> On March 21st, I inquired about the security agreement between Sri Lanka and USA. It has now expired. I asked whether there are preparations to draft a new security agreement between the two nations. However, it was Minister Mangala Samaravira who held the position as the Foreign Affairs Minister. I was expecting an answer soon. But right now, the situation is such that there is no ministerial position, let alone an answer.